Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, learn and also interact. Uh, your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in Form 2, Lesson 34. And the topic is crop production for and the subtopic is uh, weed, uh, crop weed, uh, weed control, pest control and also crop uh, disease control. On to the lesson objective, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to uh, define the following terms. Uh, number one, uh, weeding, and number two, pest control, and number three, disease control. And uh, the next uh, 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 objective, uh, you are supposed to explain the various methods of pest uh, control. On to the terms used, uh, we have, uh, I will use the following terms. We have weeds, uh, the second one is pathogen, and the third one is pest. Uh, what, is, uh, what is a weed? A weed is any plant uh, whose economical advantages are, are few and economic disadvantages are many and it is growing to uh, at a place where it is not intended to grow or in other words it is the, the uh, weeds are uh, uh, plants which are growing in the area which are not intended to grow and whose economic disadvantages outweighs uh, its economic advantages and what is a pathogen a pathogen uh, uh, biologically it is defined as a disease causing microorganism and what is a pest a pest is any animal or any organism that destroy crops in the field or storage uh, agricultural uh, produce uh, in the uh, in the in the year store. Uh, then we will go to uh, the weeding and weeding. Uh, there are various methods that we normally use uh, to control the weed. Uh, weeding, in other words, uh, it is the control of weeds in the farm. Uh, because weed normally compete for their viable nutrients together uh, with the intended crops. Uh, so there are several methods and one of the methods which is used during weeding, we have uprooting method. You can use uh, your hands. You can see that there is a, pa a farmer here who has a growth uh, so that uh, you uh, can, he or she can be protected from the dangerous species, donor species, I mean. Then we have the second method is uh, a chemical method, chemical method, and uh, during chemical method, we normally use uh, chemicals referred to as uh, herbicide. And also, you can use biological method. Uh, in biological method, that is why you normally use a living organism. Uh, for example, if you want to control uh, weed uh, in a fish pond, uh, there are certain uh, fish species uh, which are known uh, to, to feed on those uh, particular uh, weed. Uh, uh, or also, you can uh, use goats, uh, not in fish farm, but in the farm, to, to, uh, in a farm that contain uh, maybe something to do with the tea or coffee plantation because uh, goats do not feed on tea and also they don't feed on coffee. And therefore, the other weeds which are there, uh, they can be eaten by the goat and in that case we can refer that method as a biological weed control. Uh, call, uh, to, when we go to the uh, control of pests, uh, there are also various methods that we normally apply in the course of uh, controlling the pest in the farm uh, because they are very destructive. We can, uh, the, the method number one, you can use the trap uh, to trap the rodent such as uh, rats. You can see there are different types of uh, uh, trap there and also you can use the chemical methods and the chemicals which are normally used they are referred to as pesticide and therefore pesticide ranges from uh, the type of uh, crop being or intended uh, to be controlled for example we have insect uh, controlled by insecticide we have rod rodenticides are uh, normally controlled the rodents and so on and so on. Then we have scarecrow. There's, there's some of the pests are scared in the farm using the scarecrow method. And then we have disease control. 
Uh, once we go to the disease control, we have biological method and we have the chemical method where drugs are uh, spread to the crop so that you can control the crop. And also crop rotation program is another method of disease uh, control. Uh, we have come to the end of today's lesson and I will mark the end of this lesson by assigning you some work. Uh, you are supposed to explain any three methods used in controlling pests in the farm you are supposed to explain any three methods used to control pests in the farm uh, for reference you can uh, refer from the KLB secondary agriculture student book two and the publisher is uh, the kenya literature bill for more information you can reach us at erim tv using the following addresses uh, you can use sms using the number which is well displayed for you uh, youtube at erim tv and uh, you can use facebook platform at erim tv and finally twitter at erim tv underscore ke uh, thank you for tuning to Elim TV, uh, which is a channel which enlightens so many people globally. Till next lesson, bye bye.